Bangkok is one of the world's mega cities with a population exceeding 10 million people. But one thing that remains backward is the lack of accessible spaces for people with disabilities. Over the years, disability rights activist Manit Saba Indrapim has been fighting for Bangkok to become a city where all citizens are ensure equal access to public spaces, regardless of their physical capabilities. It's been eight years since Saba founded a platform to fight for a city that's inclusive and accessible for all. Saba is no stranger to the media. He made headlines in 2018 after he punched a glass elevator door at a downtown train station after a staffer said he must sign a document just to use it. Saba refused. Then he was left stranded behind locked doors. I was done waiting, so I punched it, he said. Despite his efforts, little has changed in the past eight years. Racket sidewalks, few wheelchair ramps, and even fewer elevators are still commonplace. Saba still struggles to navigate a poorly designed city where residents like him are an afterthought. More than just difficult, getting around obstacles can be dangerous. There was once when Saba had to cross a road where vehicles were passing because there was no proper wheelchair ramp in sight. However, there have been some small victories. In 2015, the Supreme Court ordered City Hall to install elevators at all 23 of Bangkok's SkyTrain stations within a year. But seven years passed and only 18 stations were finished. At a recent Bangkok governor candidate debate, Sabah raised the city's failure to do better for its population. On May 22nd, Chacha Sidipan was elected to be a new Bangkok governor by a landslide. Among 2,000 plus policies, he promised to improve accessibility. Saba said he is ready to work with Chacha to change Bangkok into a city that will be truly accessible for everyone including people with disabilities. How else do you think Bangkok should improve in terms of accessibility? Let us know your thoughts. Coconuts TV